Everyone and welcome to the beautiful Peak District. We're in the Derwent Valley, Lady Bar Reservoir, and we've come to look at something that we picked up a couple of videos ago when we had a look at that little piece of railway track that mysteriously came out of the landscape and down into the reservoir. That is just here, look. This is the railway track. Now we looked at this in a previous video, uh, probably about a week or so ago, you may have seen it, where we looked at the Lady Bar Reservoir, which is now overflowing down the plug holes. But there was also the curious subject of that mysterious portal, that doorway that goes into the side of Wind Hill, which is gated up. Now, I've spent quite a bit of time trying to work out where this comes out. I'm going to take you up to that tunnel portal and talk about that a little bit. Okay, there we go. I don't know what it looks like inside. There we go, that's the best I'm probably going to get for you right now. But that is that mysterious tunnel. I can hear my voice echoing. That's remarkable. So right now I've stood beside that curious little portal, that tunnel with the gate on the front of it that we found in part seven of this series of videos. And there's that channel going off down there. Now curiously after all the rain, there's actually well, it appears there's no flow of water, but there it is, look, there's that gate. Now, I believe after numerous cups of teas, biscuits and hours on the laptop, looking for any sign of where the other end of this tunnel actually comes out, I believe I found it. And we need to take a trip over Wind Hill down to a place called Netherbooth between Edil and Hope in the Hope Valley. So what I've since discovered over the past couple of months that I believe that this track that was found beside Lady Bar Reservoir and that mysterious tunnel just around the corner from this track are in fact connected. Since first discovering this piece of track work sticking out of the embankment of Lady Bar Reservoir and the tunnel which appears to go into the side of Wynne Hill. Now it's part of some diversion works that run from the River No in the Hope Valley and they were inaugurated by a Mr Alderman John Clark and he was the chairman of the board and this was done in April 1951. And the contractors were a Richard Bailey and Sons Limited. The engineer was a Mr. Thompson. Now the tunnel does go all the way through Wind Hill out the other side and off to a place called Neverbooth. Now the reason I believe that the track work was related to this tunnel is that a similar tunnel built around 50 years earlier, the Rivlin Tunnel running from Lady Bower through to the Rivlin Reservoirs on the way to Sheffield, well, there was an electric railway used to construct this that went inside the tunnel and it was the industrial narrow gauge track work as we found at Lady Bow Reservoir. So that's what I believe the track work was for, was during the construction of this tunnel. So to get from our tunnel portal that we discovered by Lady Bow Reservoir, I need to walk around about two miles to a little village called Neverbooth where I believe the other portal is there. So I'm going to go the long way around so I can walk over Wind Hill just to take in the views and then I'm going to step down over Hope Brink down to Edale Road. Once it gets Edale Road, quite close to the village of Hope, I'm going to follow that along, alongside the railway and the River No, before we get to Never Booth and we're hopefully going to find where this water extraction point is for this transfer tunnel. So on Google Maps I'm going to mark with the letter A this is where our water comes out into Lady Bar Reservoir. And I shall mark with the letter B the location where the extraction point is for this water transfer tunnel. And then you can see basically how far this thing actually goes.
Right, not far up the hill at the moment. This is surely beautiful, but that is very, very steep. That might give you a better idea of what I'm faced with. Imagine being the individuals that placed all these rocks in the right places. We've got to be so grateful to them, haven't we? So not sure how far I am up now, but the path is pretty, it's pretty good. Then we turn about and we get this. It's getting more and more adventurous. I'm loving this. Nowhere near the top, nowhere near. Okay, very close to the summit of Wynn Hill, just over there. So I'm going to give you a bit of a lay of the land where we are. So right down there, that is Ashupton Viaduct beyond those trees. You can just make out the water of Lady Bower. The main body of Lady Bower is down there and the plug holes are around about there. Red Myers Reservoir is about four and a half to five miles in that direction. I've been there recently. So the tunnel and the piece of railway track is out of sight down there. So that's got to be coming across somewhere just the other side of Wind Hill. Rivlin Tunnel runs for about four and a half miles incidentally from down near the car park on Ashupton Road and ends up at Rivlin Reservoirs over there. So I'm almost at the summit, I say I'm only about uh, 10, 15 metres away. Something I wanted to point out was, so there's Lady Bar headed off towards Derwent Dam and the former village is over there. When you're on ground, you don't realise that it's like a horseshoe shape. And the railway track and tunnel is pretty much in that corner down there. So the tunnel has got to run over in that direction somewhere, hasn't it? I wonder if there is actually any evidence of sighting towers or whatnot. Look at this beautiful sky all around. We've got Castleton just over there. You see the smoke from the cement works and Bamford and Bamford Edge. meters above sea level that's 1516 feet from the summit of Wind Hill absolutely beautiful so again Lady Bower A57 Lady Bower again and the plug holes are a little way over there Bamford Edge and Stanage Edge just beyond Bamford down there look at that beautiful sky and Hope down there and again that corner down there is the root of our tunnel is shooting across over there you got Loose Hill in the distance so time to carefully start making my way down and hopefully pick up a rough location of where this tunnel runs.
So from the descent from Wind Hill down towards Nevin Booth, I'm going to speak to you a little bit about what this tunnel was. So it was built in the mid 50s from the River No, which comes all the way down from Edel through the Hope Valley. And it's a bit of a diversion tunnel to take water. So there's an extraction point at a small dam at Never Booth. And this tunnel goes all the way underneath Wind Hill and deposits where we were in a previous video into Lady Bar Reservoir. But I do get the impression that it is no longer in use. So I'm hoping to find this little dam at Never Booth and the extraction point. And if I cannot get up to it, we'll fly the drone around it anyway. That's Lewis Hill over there, 476 meters above sea level, 1,562 feet. Look, there's nothing in my hand. I didn't read that off my phone. I just did that from memory. So, <laughs> honest, that heads off over to Backtour, Hollins Cross, and in the very, very distance, we've got Mantour. We're going this way. I quite like the look of that over there. A couple of humps on the hillside. I'm not sure what they are, to be fair. The lady bowels on the opposite side and the Derwent village and dam is just over there but we're heading down this way because we're looking for never booth castleton and hope are over there and you've got the kinder plateau right away in the far distance extraordinary to think that I've come all the way up from down there Lady Bower over the top of Wind Hill and make my way back down you can still see Ashupton Viaduct down there look it's like I've not done anything at all but what is a good reference point for that viaduct is in fact I'll overlay a photo so you can see it that our tunnel is around about there we're not going to be directly above it that's the view looking over but the other end of the tunnel should be somewhere over there so it should be shooting all the way across like that let's push on and keep dropping down So here's our first interaction with the river No, which is central to the tunnel that we're looking for today because that revolves around this and we've got to follow it upstream. We've come all the way down there. We've got a farm over there. There's a path up to Jagger's Clough that heads up that way and that is the No heading off back towards Hope. So I'm now going to get myself onto Edale Road up there, about half a mile heading off towards Never Booth and the youth hostels up that way as well. And that is roughly where I believe the extraction point for our River No tunnel towards Lady Bower should begin its journey, or once did. So as I leave the No behind, for now at least, and clamber up to Edel Road, there's probably not going to be much to show you until I do get to the other end. So directly over there, over the summit of there, is Lady Bow Reservoir and that tunnel and railway track is just going to be down there. So it's got to be coming across this way somehow. The River No and the railway are over there now and that is where our trajectory is taking us straight over there. So somewhere in this quarter of a mile section probably of this road, that tunnel from the No to Lady Bower passes below before going deep onto the hills over there. So I'm gonna push on for about another quarter of a mile, I think. I can see the cottages of Never Booth appearing in the distance. 
quite a few bar lambs waiting for the dinner or to go inside just here. Hello guys. Right, lucky enough to be down at the base of the dam. This is phenomenal, isn't it? And thank you to the gentleman that's allowed us access down here. And there's a discharge of water, look, so the water is coming behind there and dropping out of there. But you can see the water does also come over the top on that darkened section. And I believe the tunnel off towards Leibau is somewhere behind there. I don't think we're going to get to see it. So there's the river now flowing off in that direction down the Hope Valley towards Hope. I'm going to go over to the other side and have a little nosy though. Quite a bit of erosion down here. I'm going to be careful where I tread. I think we could get over to the other side. Again, absolutely stunning isn't it? Hidden away from almost everyone. quick look at the maps this one dating from the 1950s not really much to see you can see the the landscape and the hills and that's never booth right just there if we go to the current map for today you can just make out where our little dam and the extraction point is and that is never booth again just there I'm going to zoom right in you can make out the dam Looks like this Google image was taken in the summer because there's not a lot of water in there. But you can see that straight line going off between the River No and that clump of trees, which shows the line of our tunnel. Now, curiously, something I have discovered since investigating and exploring the origins and history of these tunnels that it has come to light there is, in fact, a third one. And I believe to begin no other than Castleton. So maybe that's something we might be able to find out a little bit more about in a future video. So the water comes in, shoots all the way under here, all the way along here. Now if we're going to go into that tunnel to Lady Bower, there's a sluice gate down there. And the water can be let into that tunnel, and apparently it still does, because we've been speaking to a very helpful chap, and it comes down here. And it's let under here and careers its way all the way over to Lady Bower Reservoir. We've finally solved that mystery, haven't we? It's absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much to the locals that's helped us. It's very, very windy at the minute. I'm going to hide behind this sluice gate just here. If you know of anything else in this area, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I believe there's another one of these at Castleton. Whether we can get anywhere near it, I don't know. Thank you very much for watching.